Hey everybody, it's Killin' Pixels, and welcome to Soma. From the creators of Amnesia. This just came out, uh, end of September, like the 21st, I believe. And it's gotten really, really good reviews on Steam. Because I was looking for something to play for October, and I was like, I need something that will potentially scare the bejesus out of me. And I think, I think Soma is up to that challenge. I mean, for God's sake, it was made by Frictional Games, and they did make Amnesia. A game that I never played because I was way too scared of it. I watched some gameplay of it, and just from that I was like, nope, 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 nope. So if that says anything, then this should be marvelous, and I'm not gonna sleep for years. But alright, let's get to it. New game. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I did a... A test to record, and apparently it auto saves. Of course, everything auto saves. Why is that news to me? Yes, override it. It's cool. Hi, brainy brain scan. You scan away down there, looking at my brainy brain. I hope that's a good brain scan. I have no idea. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it doesn't go away. It's a good quote. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. What? Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. What? Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Oh. Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, what? Um, okay. I'm awake. It's good. What? Phone. Phone, shut up. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchy. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. It sounds like me when anybody asks me anything. You got that thing? Yeah, it's somewhere. I, it's doing something somewhere. I don't know exactly where. All right, moving around. Got it. Alright, I gotta find the tracer fluid. Uh, no, comb. Not in there. The- ooh, look! Ooh! That cover looks pretty awesome. What is- oh, good. Mark and Dan Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on a vacation to Hawaii! They've been talking about for so long! But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach, that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise loom turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly swimmers are pulled screaming into dark water, desperate to get out of the way, oh, out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Ooh. This is why I stay the hell away from water. Yes, I saw. Alrighty. Sounds like a good nighttime read. Um, what is this? Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even I... sent an email to remind him, didn't I? I'm just gonna throw everything now. I don't know Where what did you I did. Put the tracer fluid. Don't know. Ooh, nice. Nothing. Very artsy. Ooh, a buggy. Is that a... I don't know what kind of bug that is. Some type of bug. Oh, don't pick that up. I'm just gonna break it. I'll just break everything. Ooh, what's this? Aww. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate the card. <laughs> what is... This must be my doctor's- Oh, look at the cute little picture! This must be my doctor's appointment, maybe? I can't read the 
Um, where's the thing? Oh shit. Oh, it's not gonna tell me. Okay, whatever. What's in here? Ooh, what's this? Oh. Downtown accident kills young woman, Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her child children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children traveled in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky as the car crashed into the passenger side. Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs. Oh, that sucks. Before the ambulance arrived, her friend and driver, Simon Jared, 26, survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has been withheld, has, oh, has been released by police, claims it was accident and harsh, par practically unavoidable. Mmm. Small constellation. Damn, that car got fucked up. We must have been dreaming about our friend. That's sad. Ooh. We like movies? I like movies. What is it? Massive Recoil Flawless Execution 2. I want to see it. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can I see it? What's this? No. No, the one behind it. Uh, what? I did not even touch you, Come dude. On, radioactive tracer flow. Shut up. Where are you? Light. We'll deal with it in a minute. Photo. I am exploring, damn it. Oh, this must be the dude that wrote the thing, because I didn't really pay attention to his name. Hospital. Is this our friend? I'm guessing it is. And a lovely... Who wants, who wants to bet that we had more than friend feelings for said friend? Oh, hello. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the PACE Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. All right. Uh, oh, okay. I'm happy to hear your headaches have been less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the conti coming months. At least you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to protect the blood from building up pressure. To prevent the blood from building up pressure. Wow, I seriously can't read. We all knew that, right, though? Since extensive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazacine to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. What's this one? Since you oh, probably forgot. Forg Good job. I can't say I haven't done that. I do that a lot. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on the shelves where people are able to actually see them. This is all true. Can I send this? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yes. Better late than never. He can't bitch now. I did send it. Alright, that's everything. Um, hey little dude! You're kind of really cute. Oh, And the floor with you. Uh, anything? And, nope. Oh. Summer's coming. Hope it's, it's a good one. It's so nice and pretty. But... Mm-hmm. What's... This is my bathroom. Can I brush my teeth? Me? No? Alright, fine. Uh, oh, shit. Can I... No, just leave it alone. How about get in the shower? I need to take a shower before I go to my appointment. I don't <laughs> want to keep the doctor waiting. Oh, come on! Oh, but what if I'm gross now? Fine. What's this? Mapping minds. I'm not reading that. Um. Right. 
Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. <laughs> oh wait, I can actually watch something? Oh my god, I wanna watch this. Can I watch this? I don't know. Can I, uh, is it? I don't know. I don't think I can. Where's the medication? I'm so, oh, I didn't check another drawer. You can stay in there, little dude. Uh. That's a camera lens. What is... I don't know. So where's this highly important medication I'm supposed to be taking that I have lost? No. Nope. Where are you? Empty. No. There it is. Found you. Oh, what? Oh, okay. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Mmm, delicious pennies. All right, what do I do now? Do I leave? I'm I'm assuming I'm safe to drive. So, wait, where's my mail? Oh. Okay. Got my keys. Do I need a coat? Nope. Shoes? Socks? No? We're good? Alright, let's go. I don't need a dress to go to an appointment. It's all good. Oh, I'm on a subway. Um, can I, I can't get up. I can't talk to anybody. Hmm. I should answer that. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. Dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Mm. Yep, we're not gonna have a storm when we get over this. He is gonna ruin everything. It's gonna be burned to the bloody ground. What the fuck? Did I just black out? I hope not. The train didn't look very sanitary. That bum would probably steal my phone. I need it for things and stuff. What? what? Oh. What is the fuck? What is the- Oh god, what Hello? the hell is that? Dr. Munchie? That's fucking creepy. Um, are we at the right office? Cause this does not- Oh, Where is Canada. It, I thought this place would be busy. Me too. This is- Oh god. I'm lagging a little. That was weird. Um, what's going on? Oh, I got stuck. Can I look behind here? There we go. Uh, we've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop at the reception. Are you already here? Talking to Pace about using the, the lab this week, I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they say we can use the empty reception area as a kind of office. I would hope us to use their computers to run models and also if a time slot opens up, we can get it there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy on Friday. I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that has re 
that was recently in a car crash should be interesting. Wait, 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 wait. You don't know even how to use the scanner? You're supposed to be scanning my brain. How am I supposed to trust you if you can't use the equipment? Oh, I have no hope. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code thing, so I called security, talked to Professor we, I guess, to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honchos over at Pace's legal department that could regen our, regrant our permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note for someone in case we forget. I need to find said note. Can I play with the computer? Is it on? I'm guessing it's on. Um, no. Light on. Uh, drawers. Drawers are helpful. Hello. Um, 2501. I'm gonna say that it's 2501. And continue exploring. What's this? Oh god, it's so long. It's so long. I can pause and read this. Because I'm probably gonna do the same. Alright. Uh, what did I say? 2501? I hope so. Oh god. 2501. Yay! Opens the other way. Prison halt when moving to run. Why would I need to run? Oh god, I don't want to run yet. Nope, nothing. James, okay. Can I get in this? Nope. I can't play with anything. Come on. I want a first aid kit. Gimme. Can I? Nope. How about over here? Oh. No. Not ready. Not ready. Oh, I can crouch. Lovely. Things that I've learned. What's this? Can I Why is there a syringe on the table? Why is this- that is a health hazard. Oh, get out of my way. There are things to be explored and touched and fucked with. What's in here? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, let's go. I guess it's time to face the music or scan. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. It's time Is to turn this around and leave. Your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were a doctor. It is time to go. No. We don't even know what we drank. He's not even a do Okay, nope. It's time to leave. Time to leave. Just back out. Die with grace. Not be- uh, Are you gonna say anything else? Oh, shit. I can jump! So, what exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. No, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like it is right now. Oh, do you have anything else to say? Are we done? Okay. I guess I should sit in the chair of death. Chair of death. Oh. I do not have high hopes. Um. Oh, oh, what the fuck? I'm just- this is not a good idea. This is a horrible, horrible idea. Oh, All right. why? Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat Same year as me. Version 6. Good. All 
files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? No. Say cheese. Fuck you. Oh god, that was bright. Well, nothing good can come of this, can it? Nothing at all. Mm, nope. Not a damn thing. What, what the fuck? Um... Oh. Hello? What the bloody fuck? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? I would say so. Can I, can I get up? This isn't oh, I funny. Um. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. Oh. So dark. And foggy. This is kind of stressing me out. What is. No. Oh, I can throw things. Hey! Uh, yeah, like that. Anyone? Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. What the hell is this place? Jesus. How did I get here? I don't know. Uh. I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. Nope. Freaking out. Totally freaking out. Okay, I guess I probably need to find that. Should I be wearing one? Oh crap. Should I be wearing one of these suits? I think I should be wearing a suit. I would like to put a suit on, please. Please. Oh, fuck. Um. Probably. Nope. Can't do that. Can I pick you up? Sweet. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh! Fuck. Okay. Um. Oh, God. Nope. Okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Oh, God. What have I gotten myself into? I hope you will enjoy this series. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave me a like and a comment down below. I'd really like to know what you think of this game. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe for more awesomely awesome content, or at least just to watch me freak out while I play this, because I'm sure it'll be worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.